right welcome to my channel thank you very much uh, well I'm gonna take a day off today and uh, my good colleague um, we, I'm going to treat him and go out to Manchester for a nice meal um, so night off tonight I haven't had a night off for about a couple of weeks so gonna go to Manchester and treat ourselves so I'll show you what we're gonna be doing today and thank you very much for tuning in hope you enjoy traveling on the motorway now on the M6 so it takes about about 40 45 minutes um, from Stoke-on-Trent to Manchester Here it is, Royal Nawabs. of drinks now now this is 17.95 per head excluding drinks children age 4 and above less than 11 8 pounds 45 excluding drinks children age 11 and above 17.95 per head so we're gonna go and check it out now uh, we've got our drinks so ready to go hi there how you doing you all right the manager's here now so he's gonna go through and uh, show um, us the food thank you very much it's my pleasure to take you on a tour. Right, what we have over here is a mixture of different kinds of salads, which is, a, you know, our Asian people, we very much into that healthy eating nowadays. That's all oh, gold up, Brilliant. And that's funny. Sorry about all the masses, just because of the fact that like, there's so many people coming in day in, day out. Um, I've actually been recommending the starters. That's one of the main things that brought me, drove all the way here to see the starters. So, fortunately, he's going to show us the starters. The best, not so much in India, but in Pakistan, they call it chapli kebab. And back home in India, we got a reshmi kebab. This is, this is what I'm, I'm going to make on my channel. Chapli kebab. It's a chapli kebab. It's got the Ajwan seeds, the tomatoes, uh, it's got nice spice with coriander. All crushed, onions. all crushed, each of them, all crushed and mix them together. And look look at this wok over here. That's heated oil and he's going to make some. So hopefully we'll, we'll be there if he's making some more. And I'll, I'll see it. And it's all nice and fresh. And th these are the starters uh, which is quite uh, known for. So here you go. There's some chicken wings over here. Barbecue chicken wings. Ashish kebab. Ashish kebab. You can never go wrong with them ones. No, never. Now this is beautiful because it's nice and bite size. So you, you won't be worried where the portions are going to be too big and you might not be able to finish it. In my opinion, it's very good sized. And that, that should have been chicken tikka. This must be really good. That's what it off pretty soon. <laughs> so, um, what we have over here is a peri peri chicken. Oh, that's beautiful. On a peri peri masala. Oh, this one looks like shami kebab, yeah? It is chicken chocolate kebab. Chicken, fantastic. We're going to have chicken and lamb. Now here must be the popular for the kids these days, yeah? Exactly, exactly. The so drumstick, they call, it, they call it niblets, which yeah. is fine, which is that way. This, this is beautiful. What is this? Is this lamb or...? Oh, no, 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 no. Chicken liver, no many people liver. do it. Wow, this is really... Chicken liver masala. Now, this one is, of our best ones. This is up in our style, yeah? Very, very, very fast. This also looks like sesame seeds. Sesame seed wings. Fried chicken wings. Some more they, are, they are very crunchy. They are very crunchy, which is nice. Which makes Super. them really, really nice. And then we have some... It looks like pakora, I love pakora. Which is chips. Chips, okay. But the bigger size of it. Size. And they got a bit of Asian masala. Oh. If there are two choice, I'd rather go for this one rather than that one. Super. These are, this looks quite interesting here. So what do we and have here? This, all of it from here is like the starters for the vegetarian people. 
So, so we cater for both, basically, yeah. So, so they actually cater for vegetarians as well, which is really good. So, and then look at the chefs over here. You know it's getting fresh food because they're cooking it constantly. It's a beautiful atmosphere, and if you do drive down, which many people do, it's worth the ride. We're going to show you some main course, and hopefully the manager's here with us as well. We're quite lucky. He's going to be with us, so we'll quickly go through it with you. So, got some starters, got some breads over here. Well, that's, we got the boiled rice, which is nice. We've got pillow rice, one of my best one. Here we go. Now, this looks really good. That is gorgeous. biryani rice. Yeah. So it's like a catchy biryani over here. Phenomenal. You, could, you know there's no food colouring. It's actually just from the spices. So that looks very good. Now, moving on over here. This looks very nice. This is like a halwa. traditional pudding. breakfast for our Asian. Yeah. Halwa, chole and we do puri as well. Fantastic. Puri is really great. This is amazing. This My is John, like... would you get one puri done for us, please? What? Puri. That's the best part now. Usually you have the, the halwa on the side and the chickpeas goes in a separate bowl, which is fantastic. I'm kind of in a hurry. I got the lamb chops over here just to show you that. We call it the lamb chops. All right. So as you can see, because he's in a bit of a hurry. So he puts the lamb chops on the side of the plate, which is it. But the best thing to have is the lamb chops separate, halwa puri and chole together. So that's what that would give you a very good yeah, He's going to go through the authentic courses with us course. because this is what I've driven down here for as a chef myself. I want to see what they do and hopefully I can recommend it for the viewers. Now, in starters, we do have. Tura durle, tura wosaikule, wo dekse bhi. Wosaikule, tura durle, ma 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 it's a tower fish. This is very traditional and he's actually going to do it nice and fresh. So if you come to the Royal Number you'll taste the actual fish. I'm going to just show you what he's doing here. That's the tower fish we got and we got steak as well. Thank you, Pissy. And that's the steak here. We're looking at a pure lamb steak. It's not a beef, but it's a pure lamb steak. Which is very, very well known. Like this is phenomenal. This is this is why people buy fresh very far to come here because if they do the food nice and fresh in front of you and today as well it's exceptional. We've got the manager here showing us how the food is going to be. So as a chef here I do appreciate how this is and hopefully if you enjoy what you've seen over here then you might see what it's Now, I've got the piece over here and a bit of onions. I'm going to try a bit of everything so to hopefully show you the viewers. So, we're going to try this. And now, this is the main section. Um, this uh, is the main section, which is the very authentic section. And Mr. Munir Sam, he handles this area. So, you've got the chicken and lawa, uh, yeah. lamb minced over here. This is lamb halim, very traditional Pakistani dish. Uh, lamb nihari, also very traditional, very authentic. My sister actually came and she recommended this dish for me. This is the... This is the lamb paya, which is the trotter. There's a beautiful dish over here. And this is the most authentic as you can get. And hopefully I'm going to show you how this dish is. And look at this. Now, this is, this is the dish. This is a dish that gets cooked for hours and hours. So it's just the meat actually uh, falls off the bone, which I'm going to show you hopefully. And we've got these traditional dishes over here. That are palak lamb, which is the spinach. Um, let me show you here. This is the meat boona. Oh, sorry, butter chicken and kofta lamb, so that's meatballs. And they've also got a nice Chinese section over here for people who want some foreign food. Some egg rice, different, different rices. There's some lasagnas over here. This seems like sweet and sour chicken. That seems like chicken chili dry. It's cool. Spaghetti bolognese out of all dishes. So, um, for the, for the English folk here, they've, they've got the sp spaghetti bolognese. I wouldn't say it's a pure Italian, but it's quite English over here. Uh, this one, just simple plain noodles and some garlic bread. And then we'll show you the dessert section as well. Desserts, which I will show a bit later. So they got, I can already see there's some gulab jamun, there's some gulab jamun, which is the Give me a banafi pie. And for the little, little young kids like over here, they've got some nice ice cream. Which one's your favourite, young man? Which one's your favourite? The bubble gum. I don't know if you think the bubble gum. I think chocolate. Chocolate. No. No. <laughs> well, for the mother, it's chocolate as well as myself. But all the kids like the bubble gum. We're going to try this out for you viewers to enjoy as well. So we're going to tuck into some starters and then turn, pick it up some lettuce.
Tomato, jalapeno, that's the pickles. Red cabbage. That looks like a bit like wheat, olives. And we're going to grab some starters now. Lamb chutney. Two of us, so we're going to be sharing some of this. So, like chickpeas. Some of these chicken wings. That's the shish kebab which the manager showed us. and then um, we'll see how it tastes. We've got some salad over here. This is what the manager recommended and some starters over here. So we're going to tuck in. We forgot our knife and fork, so we're going to get some knife and fork. Like it. Lamb chop. We're going to be tucking into. Oh. How does it taste? Very nice. Yeah? So it's nice. That's the spicy chicken. That's the sesame sesame fried chicken wings. That's the fish pakora. Two of each that we can try. We're gonna try the spicy chips, so we get a couple of these. And we already know how this tastes. Get some of these pecoras, please. So these are a couple of pecoras. And this looks like potato pecora. So we're gonna try these. Some pizzas there, some bread over here, naan over here. We need that. to see the authentic street food. This is the section that they have over here, which is called the Pani Puri. So I'm gonna grab some to show you guys. So this is basically tamarind water. And these are like, pop, they're like poppadoms really. So mint sauce, that's, that, that's the curry puri. I'm gonna try some main dishes now. I'll go through with some of them that I'm gonna have. Now this was the authentic rice, so I'm gonna try a bit of this. the bay leaf, the cassia bark which is cinnamon. Now this is the biryani. I'm just going to try it so I'm just going to check what it is really. I don't need the lamb chops which they do, they're very nice, very tasty. Uh, these are the vegetables. So I'm going to grab a bit of spinach. That's the mocha panini. There's a little bit there with the peas. That's some of the vegetables, which I'm not going to go for at this moment. These are chicken on the bone. Nice chicken boon on the bone. I'm going to leave this for now. Now this is small pieces of chicken. It's a small piece of chicken, that one. Now this looks like a lamb de piazza. So it looks very nice. So I might just grab a couple of pieces. It's like a chicken with green chilies there, yeah? I'll leave that one. Um, and this is quite nice, this is like a, um, like a gourd. So gourd and some lamb, so I'll have a bit of that. As you can see, the lamb halim, the lamb nihari, lamb paya and the lamb king So 
some famous uh, Pakistani dishes over here, which I'll which I'll get for the viewers. Ask the main man over here for two dishes for me, and, me and you. So I'm going to ask for uh, Namni Hari, please. Thank you. And uh, Namkit Goose. Now this is very soft lamb. Let's put some nice salad over here and a bit of lemon. Now this was one of my personal favorites. I hope it's, I hope it's nice over here. My friend's mom does a very nice dish. So it's on the bone, it's quite gelatinous. And there's some lamb over here. So it should be very nice, I'm hoping. So we'll try both of these and tell you how it is. That's my plate of food. Now these are the specials over here. That's the Nihari. It's a Namkin ghost over here. Some pilla rice, some naan bread and some paratha. So we're going to tuck in now. I'm going to try a bit of this. Got the bone marrow in here. So. Marrow over here. See, that's the gooey bit over here. That's the that's the nice part. So I'm gonna try that one. It's been cooked for a very long time, so it's beautiful in flavour. And hopefully, if you do come and try that, it's very nice and tasty. Now I'm gonna try and see what they have and ask them what they put as well. Most of them I know, so I'll show you the uh, what they have. I've got some stuff over here which I'll show you. This is some gulab jamun. This is uh, gajar, gajar halal, gajar which is the carrot. And it's like a bit of pistachio over here. The dal ham, it's like lentil one, one, halal one. over here. Yeah, now this, uh, it's got the humble apple crumble. So that's pretty good. Bre bread and butter pudding, uh, pudding. It's got custard over there as well. That also looks like the topping, so like the crumble. And there is, is, is a vermicelli. And over here is an Egyptian pudding it's called. So we're going to try a couple of these and then see how it's like. And there's obviously the, the ice creams and the cakes and so on. So, yeah. Some traditional ice creams as, as well as your popular ice creams. They've, they've got the kulfi here which is like the almond I think. They've got the chocolate and they've got all these other different flavours for the children to enjoy. A um, choice of desserts over here. This one was recommended. So it's like a bread over here which has been soaked in syrup and some spices and just a scoop of uh, vanilla whipping cream. Uh, this is a traditional bakhor khani, um, which I'm not too sure, familiar with this one but I'll give it a go. And then this, this, is, this is one of my favorites. I do enjoy these gulab jamun with just a vanilla ice cream. And that's vermicelli in a sort of uh, creamy uh, milk. So we're gonna try these and hopefully see how that goes. I'm to try this one. So it looks like faluda and vanilla ice cream. And we've both enjoyed this one, so we've gone for seconds. So a bit greedy, but what now? Uh, so we finished our meal, we're gonna go and pay and we'll see how much it, our bill is. We ordered a little takeaway uh, from our cameraman here for his missus. He loves her dearly and uh, he's got a big uh, date coming up. Um, very personal, but uh, he's gonna give her some uh, food to take away. So we'll go in order. I've finished eating, I'm gonna go and pay now. It's about 10 o'clock, it's still quite busy, so I'll just show you. It's quite busy. So it's going to be uh, just ask for the bill. We'll take the number 35. 46 silly. So it's 46 pounds 79, which is uh, quite a good value for money. You get quite a few things over here, two adults, and uh, and we've got a little taker which is about 4.99. So we'll go and check that out. So uh, I'll just pay that now. So they offer takeaways as well, so if anybody comes here, they can get a takeaway, whatever they fancy. So we've got the pani puri because it's a very traditional one. Always miss it, so we're going to enjoy it. I just want to say everybody poses here, so I'll just qu qu quickly take one. So at the end of the day, we're going to finish now. We had a nice meal. Hospitality was very good. Now we're going to leave.